Pferde heißt. That's how you put up a tent in an apple orchard. Time doesn't work for me. I can't even count on Very nice, very nice. In my dreams, you're constantly dropping things from your watch easily. So lie and be a part of doom. Temptation is not your favorite word. This place. I don't know what that is. I've got no idea what that is. And all the time you spend dreaming, it's the time you forgot. And still I keep I found on the believing <laughs> there are feelings you got to pretend the cool story. Of it's quite a nice one. This one. There's only a little bit of poo around. Still in the making. Do you like my hat? I repurposed really it, so I've now got it kind of lashed onto the helmet, which is really helping because it's bloody hot. These over behind me are called the Flaming Mountains. If you want to pay to see them, you can go to a place over there and there's like a touristy spot where you can pay, or you can just look and see them. Um, so it looks like I'm going through some kind of canyon and I'm going to start climbing a hill soon, M mountain, uh, mountain soon. Um, which goes up this way. Still on the G30. Uh, I like these signs. <laughs> no bikes. Mm, sorry officer, I don't see any bike. Mm, two wheels? No. But actually, it's fine. Um, these roads are fantastic. I've seen a bunch of policemen around and I'm waving at them and they're absolutely fine with it. To combat the kind of heat and the dehydration that I've been having a bit recently, I've been carrying more water. 500 mil, 500 mil, a litre here, a litre and a half, litre and a half. So that's five litres. I should have enough water. Having fun out here. It's, uh, yeah, it's a hot one. Oh, yeah. <sighs> just a bit hot, Ben. I forgot to mention earlier that I just passed uh, below sea level, which explains why it's so hot here. It's pretty out here, uh, but I'm just sweating like an absolute hog. <laughs> Put me on a spit roast, take me off, I'm done. Oh, it's too windy. This is worse than in Kazakhstan, and I'm not kidding. Uh, so I'm walking, it's about five miles uh, until the next uh, gas station. If the wind keeps up like this, then I'm gonna be walking all day. But that's all right, get a change, do something different. <laughs> See the world a bit slower. Okay, keep walking, Ed. That you won't agree, you will never be my bride, okay? Then I say, then you might be gay. I wish you good luck with girls. But fly, little stinging bee, who eyes and will catch you, Miss Misery. I wonder if you recognize redemption is pretty little lies. Let's get caught on the world. Right, mommy ain't the reason. Walk on the white side. Told me, told me, told me bad. I would rather die than to live on bed. Oh, oh, and I have to claim that I haven't slept the night I say, cause you said that I will not lay. You haven't got the right to stay, and you said that you won't agree. You will never be my bride. Okay, then I. Oh, blimey. There we are. That's how you make a nice comfortable camp inside a tunnel. Uh, and if it rains, I'm not going to get wet. 
unless it rains so much that water starts flowing through. Got a bit of a, a barrier from the wind, which is good. I'm gonna eat some food, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. And then hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, uh, it's not gonna be so windy, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think just out here, it's just, it's just always windy. Um, so all I can really hope for is that maybe the, uh, the wind changes and it's behind me. <laughs> like that's gonna happen. Cool. <laughs> There's <laughs> the other camera. That's how I'm filming with the other one. <laughs> oh wow! Looks like we got an interesting uh, sunset over there. Let's check that out. Back up in the woods among the evergreens Still a large cabin made of earth and wood Are you going to focus? Oh, I got the weird focus thing on It's a way up where we can play the guitar New day, not so much wind Brilliant <laughs> Oh dear I figured doing this in bits would be easier Found a cafe, no Wi-Fi, but food, which is fantastic, and the, the yeah, people working here are very interesting. And there's some dodgy Eurovision-esque thing on the TV. Yeah. So I'm going to eat here quickly, and then go and try and find Wi-Fi, and then cycle away and find somewhere to sleep, because there isn't anywhere decent here. Okay, hi there. As you can see, I decided to keep cycling. So the aim is just to cycle a little bit further. Uh, it's already half ten. Uh, so I want to find a tunnel to sleep under. Looks a bit like some kind of horror film, but, <laughs> but it works, I think. Hopefully, it doesn't rain too hard in the night, I don't have to move. Okay, good night. Wait, what is that? Hey up, me again. So on this trip, I've frequently been asked, Ed, unicycling around the world is great and all, but are you doing it for a particular cause? It's funny, you should ask that Santa guy. Yes I am. I'm raising funds and awareness for the charity School on the Back. The team, based in Somerset, England, manufacture, fill and distribute little red rucksacks and send them all over the world to children in dire need of learning resources. Every single red rucksack sent out contains exercise books, lines squared and plain, pencils, colouring pencils, pens in a pencil case, a ruler, a math set, a water bottle, a bowl, a plate and my favourite, a little red spork. The cost to manufacture, fill, and deliver one school bag to one child is only £20. So if you can spare the money and would like to support this amazing initiative, please head over to my charity donation page, uk.virginmoneygiving.com slash worldunicycletour. The link is in the description. If you enjoy my videos and want to be notified every time I upload a new one, hit that little red subscribe button. And if you could share this video, it'll help me reach a larger audience to share this message. Cheers, and I'll see you next week for the next installment of Ed Unicycles China. Oh yeah. Oh dear.